Hello, Ed, this is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Okay, I got your plan. Thank you for sending it over. I'm just going to take a quick look at it in 3D. Uh, let's use the standard view. Rotates a lot faster. Um, okay, so there is your model of this <coughs> excuse me, little apartment that you have. And you want to build you want to build an attic for it. Well, yeah, that's no problem. And the attic, I guess the low wall is going to be at 72. The high wall is at 92, which is you're kind of showing there. Yeah, that's no problem at all. So let's do that. The, the best way to do that is go over to your build new roof plan. And you want to add a new roof and you want to drive it off the first floor plan. Say, so, okay. And then here's where you can set it. We can actually set the finished floor F to be 92 because we know that's where we want it to be. <clears throat> Click OK. And there we go. And then we want to put a roof over it. But before we do that, we can do a cross section elevation to kind of cross the house and take a look at what we've done. Wow, everything's in your um, uh, <laughs> wrong mode there. Let's see. <clears throat> this should be in vector view. Okay. So there's 92, and then there's your first floor. And so we need the roof to cut right through it. So, no problem. Let's take our roofs now and let's do that. I'm going to drag a roof over this wall, clicking and dragging a roof over this wall. And I select this end, hit two on the keyboard and hit uh, the other side of the roof. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness. I had a cold and I just can't get rid of it. Here I'm just stretching out the roof planes. So you just grab the end and stretch it out to the end. Now, the important thing is to have this roof cut where we want it to cut. So let's go back to the cross section and we can see it builds the roof right off the plate height. Well, that's not what we want, right? We want it lower. So let's use a marker. So I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark it from this floor up. And I forget what you had. So yes, turn on the marker layers. You had, what did you have down here on level two? You showed me so nicely, 72 and 92. So that should be 92, so we need to make this 72. So 72 inches puts me there. I can even put a little CAD line marker. I can take a CAD line and draw it through like this. It says, don't turn it on. Your layers are set up kind of funny there, but no worries. You might want to go back and just use the, um, the default chief architect plan. But anyways, we'll just continue on with this bad boy. So now I've marked my area of the 72. I'm going to I'm gonna simply select these two roof planes. So you left click on the first one, hold shift down and left click on the second one. And then you have this transform replicate. And I would just bring it down manually. So I'm going to move it down and I'm eyeballing now maybe from 72, which is six feet. And I was almost eight feet. So I'm going to go down two feet, roughly. Whoop, I went in the wrong direction. I shouldn't have gone plus two feet. I should have gone negative four feet. Well, in your case, you'd want to go negative two feet. So get you close. Let's lift it up again. Maybe four more inches. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to go one more inch in the negative direction. One inch. Whoop, one inch. There we go. <clears throat> and then I want to do another marker just to make sure that this is building at 92, as it should. Perfect. There we go. Now we go to here and we go to this second floor and we don't want the floor joists in between, I'm imagining, or maybe you do. So you want to lower it even more. So if this is the case, this is the attic where you have your floor joists and you step up to it. But if you don't want those floor joists, you simply select this room and call it open to below. And thereby, the whole thing of the roof from this ceiling down is open to below. There is no framing now. And then you just want to bring down, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like I got a cough again. You just want to bring down this ceiling uh, manually. So you go into the structure tab and you would lower it down minus the 12 inches for the floor that we just got rid of. So you bring it down, say, to 80. And so that'll bring that back down to 92. So if I were to put this to here, and then remember my floor joist is gone now, my old ceiling's here, so I'm back at that 92. And then again, I would lower my 72 as well, right? We could just grab these two things and I'm just hitting down on my arrow key 
and bring it down to 72. <clears throat> so it's 85 there. I want to bring it down. So I'm going to select this one and this one. And I can bring it down now. What did I bring it down? Like, well, let's start with 12 inches because we removed the floor. <clears throat> right? And so I grab this bad boy and I line him up in the corner. And there's my 72. So there's the attic. You could perform either way. If I go here and use my camera tool, maybe sitting in this room, I could look up and see because I've removed the ceiling. Um, let's see. We don't like this view. We want this view. So you can see there's that attic space and there's the walls cutting through. So if you don't like that, you just simply put back the floor joists like we did. I'm going to go ahead and cancel these views to make it go a little quicker. <clears throat> oh wait, well, let's keep the cans. Yeah, let's keep that there. My goodness, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. So I'm just hitting undo to get back my floor the way it was. So either way, you can make the attic space one way or the other. So the, the key there was to build a second floor. And whether you want it to be an actual floor, you can leave the floor there and do the measurements like we did. Or you can simply <clears throat> get rid of the floor below by doing open to below. Oop, I think I went a little too far. There we go. So there's the version where it's an actual floor over this room. And we'll go to color view. So there's the ceiling. And then again, if I went to the glass house, I could see that there's my, well, maybe we need to up the transparency a bit more, but basically there's my second floor or that attic space that's up there. Okay, I hope that helps, and um, I will save this file and send it back to you. Again, you can do it either way you want. Okay, talk to you soon.